set of mill sets, box, and fitness. Today we're going to work on a left hook punch, which is one of the strongest punches in boxing. It's one of my, one of my favorites. To work on a left hook, there's a couple of different scenarios you throw a left hook from. One, you might have slipped a punch or bobbed under a punch where your body's turned a little bit to your left so that you're, you're kind of cocked, you're ready to throw that punch, you're in that, that loaded position to throw your left punch. Or you deliberately, you're, you're moving your head, you're deliberately setting yourself up for the hook by just turning your body to the left a little bit so that you're ready to come back with a, with a left hook punch from there. Or you've thrown a straight right punch, and you're ready to follow up behind it, or a right uppercut, or some other kind of punch first, so that your body's turned and you're set to throw that hook, so that you can come right back across with your left hook. So let's work on it. The left hook, we're going to start off turning our body toward about 10, 30, 11 o'clock, so our hips and shoulders face to the side, to our left side a little bit. As we do, our hands stay up, our elbows are in, our chin's down. From here, we're going to push off the ball of our front foot, this part of the foot right here. As we push off, we're going to send our body weight back and across at the same time so that we turn into the punch. We're bringing our front hip and shoulder across violently. That's our, that's our goal to give us more power in this punch. So we're going to pivot. We're going to transfer our weight back to our back foot, about 65-70% of our weight. As we do, we're going to pivot on the ball of our front foot so the toes end up pointing toward 3 o'clock to our right side. And as we do that, we're going to bring our front hip and shoulder across, and we're going to hit with our left hook. And when you hit with your hook, your arm is straight out and straight across, ideally. It can be a little further out or in, but ideally your opponent's right here. You're straight out and straight across. Your elbow's not down. You want to keep your elbow up so that your whole body's going to be behind this punch. If, if your elbow's down, you end up hitting with the wrong part of your hand, and that means you're, you're going to hurt your hand or your wrist. And that also means your body is not behind your punch. So when you hit, your arms should be even with the ground, including your elbow and your hand, not drooping down. Your palms should be down. Your wrist has got to stay straight. You're hitting with the, the big three knuckles here. You penetrate through your target, which means you don't just hit and snap, but you go through the target first and then snap it back. Hit, snap. So let's start from the beginning. We're turned. Our weight's on our front leg. We push off the ball of the front foot. As we do, we bring our front hip and shoulder across. We hit so that our arm is even with the ground, straight out, straight across, wrist straight. We don't want our wrist bent up or down because that's a sure way to injure or break your wrist. Your palm is down, you're hitting with the knuckles. You penetrate and then go back the same way the punch came in. So if the punch comes in at this angle, it goes right back out. Again, here, pivot. Here, we pivot on the ball of our front foot, transfer our weight back, come across with that left hook. Now, a good drill that I find works pretty well to help teach beginning students is to have them just drop their hands. They're in their stance. They just work on turning and then turning the other way. Turn, turn. Okay, here, my weight's on my front leg, like it should be before you throw your left hook. Here, my weight goes to my back leg, like it should be at the end of your hook. Turn, turn. And then you can bring your elbows up. Turn, turn. Transfer your weight. Keep your knees bent so that you can pivot on the balls of your feet. And then from there, your whole body works as one unit to give you the most power you can generate on that punch. You penetrate, you hit, and then snap your punch back. That's your left hook. On the bag, normally you want to wear hand wraps, you want to wear bag gloves, but for instructional purposes, I'll, I'll show you this way without, uh, without wearing that stuff. Okay, I've got my body turned. When you hit the bag, a lot of people don't like to throw a hook on the bag because it doesn't really go anywhere. That's okay. You don't need the bag to go anywhere. When you hit it, you want to penetrate and then snap it back. Okay, don't worry about pushing the bag because that means you're doing the punch wrong. So we're here. <clears throat> we hit. Again, you're penetrating. And then you're snapping it back. Watch my hips and shoulders, how I turn my hips and shoulders. So when I hit, my arm is even with the ground. That's your hook punch. You don't want to hit. 
hit and go behind you. You don't want to hit and go down. That's wrong because you want to be able to follow up with, with follow up punches. Plus, it gives you more power when you go back out the same way you came in. So that's your left hook punch. 